My name is Medea Benjamin with Code Pink. And we have been walking the halls of Congress every day for the last three months. But today I want to address the occupant in the White House. You know that Joe Biden used to cultivate an image of himself as this nice, kind Uncle Joe. He knew the value. He knew the value of human life because he had suffered such losses himself. Now he is no longer the comforter in chief. He is known as Genocide Joe. So when I say Genocide Joe, I want you to lift your hands in the air and say, the blood is on your hands. Genocide Joe. President Biden. For decades now, every time the Palestinian people have risen up against the 75-year-old brutal Israeli occupation, instead of sympathizing with their plight and seeking a real solution, you have reiterated your rock-solid support for their oppressor. Genocide Joe, the blood is on your hands. President Biden, in these last terrifying three months, when we have witnessed the murder of over 10,000 precious Palestinian children, when we have heard their soul-wrenching cries trapped in the rubble, instead of demanding that Israel immediately stop this atrocity, you bypass Congress to send more weapons, genocide, Joe, the blood is on your hands. President Biden, the overwhelming majority of countries came together at the UN to put an end to the slaughter. And instead, you vetoed the UN resolution, Genocide Joe. And when your own campaign staff say that it is a moral and electoral imperative for you to publicly call for a ceasefire, Please don't wonder why you've lost the support of the young people, the Muslim community, progressive Jews like myself. Time will not heal this wound. Come November, we will remember because genocide, Joe. But to counter these policies and those of Congress people in the pocket of APAC, just look around. We are building a beautiful, enormous, multi-generational, multi-ethnic groundswell of support for the Palestinian people. One that will not be appeased or bought or contained or stopped. That will only keep growing and growing until Palestine is free. Free, free Palestine. Free.